message for you. Last week, I woke up and I had this beautiful message and this beautiful memory of a dream I had had. And this dream was about Mother Nature. And this dream was about the give-receive cycle. I have really been very intentional about um, working on a balanced give-receive cycle. Like I'm a really great giver and I've opened myself up to receive much more than I did in the past, but I still wanna like open that channel up so that it's more balanced. And this is a common issue with the feminine. Hello, Julianne, right? This is very common. So we think of the feminine energy and we think of motherhood, grandmotherhood, like service in general, like women are always giving. We are giving, giving, giving. Like we are, we have been convinced by society that we are supposed to give from an empty cup. And that is just not true. And any woman, any feminine energy that is now actively on in a, a spiritual ascension journey that is in there deep enough knows that that is not the case, right? We know now, we know now mentally and in our heart that we have to, stop it kitty, my cat's acting crazy. We have to fill our cup up first in order to adequately, adequately give to those around us. And to really give in the highest and to really serve our family and our community and our friends in the highest, we must first fill our own cup. And so when I woke up and I had this thought in my mind, I had had a dream and in the dream, I saw this beautiful bird and its wings were spread. And as it was flying and flapping its wings, I could see this beautiful, like, like these light codes raining down on humanity as the bird is flying. But then there was a connection intuitively that what this bird was spreading were the codes that were shared with it through human connection. And so how does this relate to the give receive cycle? I want you to understand that when you interact with nature, it is a give receive. Not only did that animal come to you or tree, you know, end up in your path to give to you, but they also are there to receive. And so it was just this beautiful download about, you know, when, a bird, for example, comes to you. They come to share their love and to share their codes. And when I refer to codes, I'm referring to we all have codes in our energy field. And we're always exchanging them, always. You know, think about when you go to the grocery store. If it's like hectic and chaotic, how do you feel when you leave? You've been coded with anxiety. But if you go to a, a beautiful, serene, quiet spot, you leave feeling really uplifted and energized and like peaceful because you've been coded with that energy. And so we're always exchanging. And when nature comes in contact with you, not only are you receiving, but you're giving. And so the goal is that every animal that comes in contact with you comes to you to share their codes with you but then they take your unique code. Oh my God, look at the cat. Speaking of animals, <laughs> they take your unique code and they spread it through humanity. This is another way that we're shifting the, the consciousness. <laughs> Please don't do that. No, kitty, kitty, get down, get down. 
we're raising the collective consciousness of humanity. So think about that. How Just close your eyes and think about that beautiful vision of this bird. This bird comes to you, makes eye contact with you, comes near you and boom, coded with your unique codes and then flies away, flapping their wings, spreading your codes, your unique codes to the world. Right? Isn't that beautiful, Carrie? And so I understand that your code is specific. You came to fulfill a mission that absolutely no one else can fill. It is unique to you. You know, no, don't do that to my, come here, come spread your codes. Um, so you have a unique a unique pathway to fulfill. And you may do it with a group of people, but what you're doing is still unique. Nobody else can do what you're doing. You're sharing codes and um, offerings and pathways that have never been shared before. No matter how many lives you've lived, the codes you have to share in this now moment, in this lifetime are unique to anything ever. Every single time you come, right? Because we're always learning, we're always evolving, we're always changing. And so the next time around, we're gonna have something even different to offer because of all of the wisdom and knowledge that we've gained from this lifetime. And so I just felt really called to remind you of the uniqueness and the power and how special you are. And so let this drive you because I, I really, I don't know, I don't exactly know what the hell is going on with me. Galactic surgery is going on, like massive shifts. And all of us are feeling this, right? We've got, so what's the next massive energetic shift we've got going on? What, um, the new moon and the solar eclipse. And I am feeling like I'm feeling my energy field stretching and opening and it is making me really tired. <laughs> and I've gone like very inward and I've not been sharing my voice as much. And it's because I'm just tired and there's so much unseen work going on right now. Um, but like I got kids to take care of. <laughs> You know, I've got codes to share, damn it. So, and this is what keeps driving me. Like I do honor, I honor that space and I honor my body and I really am like drinking extra water and resting extra and really feeling my, filling my body with high vibrational foods to support this transition and this shift. But let that drive you. Like, I really didn't feel like doing this Facebook Live, but I was thinking about this. I was like, you know, I've had this message in my heart for almost a week now. And it, like, it's time to share it because someone needs to hear it. Because my inspiration is always born from someone's desire. Someone has the desire and the, the need to hear that message. And it just lit my heart up to, I've always thought and had great gratitude, deep gratitude for what these animals bring to me because I've been, the more that I focus on this journey, this inward spiritual journey and this heart expansion, the more animals come to me. And I've always been so grateful that they come to me, but I never really thought about the fact that they don't just come to deliver to me, they come to receive from me. I am that special, we are that special that the animals seek us out with great intention in order to take our codes and spread them for us. They're working with us, right? And yesterday I um, was walking through the little forest across the street from my house and I saw six baby squirrels. I have never seen a baby squirrel, ever. I saw six of them. 
they were so precious and they were just climbing up and down this tree and jumping back and forth. Oh, they were so little teeny, they were so beautiful. And I thought, what a gift. And as I watched them scurry around and move so quickly with such joy and stamina and excitement, it made me think of the codes and just spreading them, spreading the codes. And this is how we are stepping into the new earth. We are one. There is no separation. So I hope you have a wonderful night or day, whatever it is for you. I'm sending you so much love and just a deep, deep loving reminder that you are so unique that no one has your offering. Just don't compare yourself to anyone else. Stay in your own lane because there is no comparison. There is no comparison. And when you're looking at someone, instead of comparing yourself to them, know that what you see in them and admire in them, you only see because it is within you. Because we are all, we are mirroring one another. Everything you see outside here is a reflection of what is going on inwardly. So anything you see in the person that you most admire, don't put them on a pedestal because that makes it seem unattainable. Know that they are your mirror. They are your mirror. So thank you so much for mirroring me, offering me such a beautiful mirror. I appreciate you so deeply and I so enjoy this interaction. We've taken social media and like flipped it, flipped it on its head and are using it for such meaningful, beautiful change. And so I thank you, I honor you, and I love you so much. Have a wonderful evening, day, night, whatever it is for you. Bye-bye.